My name is Dennis Dolan from Jordan Panel Systems, project manager. Uh, today we are dry fitting our first batch of uh, standing seam metal roof panels, primarily layout. From here we're going to dry fit approximately 10 to 15 panels uh, to ensure that the panel length and taper are correct. It's a long panel. The panels are uh, over 80 foot in length. Uh, shipping to the facility from, uh, from the manufacturer, uh, special trucking permits, um, as well as a custom fabricated spreader bar uh, used to lift the crates of panels onto the roof substrate. This roof will take uh, approximately uh, 2,900 panels. Again, each panel is tapered to uh, to conform to the actual radius of the building. Although the structure itself is segmented between columns, because this panel system is tapered, it will conform to an actual radius at the upper and lower portion of the roof. The substrate uh, buildup on the roof system is comprised of a steel metal deck, followed by gypsum sheathing, followed by a vapor barrier, followed by a four-inch overall nail board polyisosanurate insulation, followed by a titanium underlayment, which is slip resistant, as well as long-term UV protected. This system, as you see it prior to the roof panel system going down, is essentially weathered to uh, facilitate construction below while the metal roof system is being in place. What we're doing now is we're uh, interlocking the first panel into the gable end clips. Uh, happens to be located at a building expansion joint. These clips are spaced 24 inches on center as prescribed. Again, this is the first panel of a series of panels which will be installed in sequence uh, following the first panel.